Okay, 8th grade, so we are in our reading packet today. We're on page 43. Um, I know we, this skips ahead from where we were last week, um, but the pages in between are just some guided um, extra help pages, so we don't have anything to do for those. So we're jumping ahead to 43. Today we're talking about punctuation to indicate an omission. So this is a super complicated title for something that is super simple. So what does it mean to omit something or omission? That means that we're just, we've gotten rid of something. Something's not there that used to be there. So it says, when you write direct quotations, sometimes you must indicate that you left out part of the quoted material or the speaker's words. You can do this by indicating an ellipsis, which is just that dot, 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 um, three periods in a row. The ellipses points or dots are separated by a space before and after each dot. Notice how the boldface words in the examples below have been replaced by ellipses. So you guys see me use ellipses a lot, especially when we are, I'm doing um, example questions. I use ellipses to show you this is where you would write more. So I put that in as a blank. So if you look here, the original text says, Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera is the longest running musical in the history of Broadway. It tells a haunting and tragic story about a deformed, mysterious being who lurks around the opera house. The Phantom falls in love with a younger singer, <coughs> excuse me, then takes revenge when his feelings are not returned. In the quoted text, it says, one critic wrote, which this is just what you would write. This is the text that you would be pulling a quote from this first part here. And then the quoted text is what you took from that. So it says, one critic wrote, Andrew Lloyd Webber's Fame from the Opera is the longest running musical in the history of Broadway. It tells dot, dot, dot about a deformed, mysterious being, dot, dot, dot. The Phantom falls in love with a younger singer and then takes revenge. And then the last dot, dot, end quotes. So for this first one, it tells about a deformed, mysterious being for that first dot, dot. It replaces words in the middle of a sentence with three dots. So what that means is, is that there was something in there that wasn't necessary to what we were writing about. So if you're quoting something for research and you have a big long quote and there's stuff in the middle that's not necessary for the point you're trying to make, you can take that out and replace it with a dot, 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 because that information wasn't necessary to make your point. Now you can also use a dot, dot, dot at the end of a sentence plus a fourth dot for the period. So if you do it at the end of a sentence, you need to use four dots because you have the period along with the three dots for the ellipses. And then for the ellipses at the end of a quotation, make sure the quotation mark immediately follows the end punctuation. Just like if you're using a quote and you don't have the ellipses, the quotation marks always go after the period. And because it's at the end of the quote, we still have the four dots instead of just the three, because we have the period along with the three ellipses marks. So now for the guided practice, which we're going to do together, and then you guys will do page 44 on your own. We're going to rewrite each quotation correctly, replacing the underlined words with ellipses. So it says, hint, when an ellipses replaces words that are followed by a comma in the original text, the ellipses should also be followed by a comma. Uh, the example, Christine, who is the heroine of the play, comma, is a good actor. So it says, Christine, who is the heroine, dot, 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 we have our ellipses. Well, there was a comma after play, so we need to have the comma still there, even though the play is no longer there. So the first one says, my mother told me fans of the opera had amazing songs, costumes, and special effects. So the part we need to take out is songs, costumes, and special effects. Well, this is in the middle of the sentence, so all we need to do is have those three dots. We don't have to have four for a period. So it would be, my mother told me, Phantom of the Opera had amazing dot, 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 and then it would be special effects. So all we did there was take out the underlying part, put the three um, periods for the ellipses, and then you end the sentence as normal because the ellipses are in the middle of the sentence. So there's nothing extra that we need there. And there was no commas before or after 
the underlined portion. So we didn't need to have any commas in there. The second one says, one critic wrote, the actor gave a chilling performance. I'll never forget. It was award winning. Well, this one, even though it's not at the very end of the sentence, it's at the end of the first sentence. So it says, one critic wrote, the actor gave a chilling performance. I'll never forget, period. So if we have that period, we know that we need to have four dots for the ellipses, one for the period, three for the ellipses itself. So one critic wrote, comma, the actor gave a chilling performance. Again, we need to have four ellipses. And then it was award winning. And then nothing special at the end because, again, the ellipses was at the end of the sentence, but not at the end of the quote. Oh, the third one says, according to an article I read, comma, the musical is based on a novel by Gaston Leroux. So here we have it at the end of a, a sentence along with at the end of the quote. So we know that we need to have how many periods, four periods, and then we need to have the quote, is it before or after? After. So it's going to say, according to an article I read, the musical is based on a novel. And then we would have dot, 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 and quotations. The last one says the novel was made into a silent film in 1925 and a movie in 1994. So let's take care of the first um, one that we're omitting first. So as always, leave, leave the first part the same. The novel is made into a silent film. Is this at the end of a sentence or the end of a quote? No. So we just have the three uh, dots for, to make the ellipses there. Then we have and a movie. And then where it says in 1994, that's both at the end of a sentence and the end of a quote. So you need to have how many dots? Four. Then we need to have a quotation mark. Or sorry, we need to have a comma as well. Because we leave the comma there whenever we have one. And then it would say, said my mom. So we need to make sure we're leaving those commas there. Even I almost forgot about that. So make sure we're leaving those commas there. If it's at the end of a sentence or at the end of a quote, we need to make sure we have four uh, periods, one for the marking the end of the sentence, three for the ellipses, and then um, also making sure that those quotation marks go after all of our punctuation. So now you guys are going to do page 44 on your own. Hopefully this is pretty straightforward. But if you're having any struggles with this, um, I'll be available during office hours today.